Hello everybody, it's Dare here and welcome back to One Shot where we finally found the library. Hey it's Dare, welcome back. So now we should have no problem at all uh, deciphering this strange journal. Let's see, we have multiple people here, we have binocular guy, some computers, I bet it's off. It's gonna be off, yep. And I don't know, who are you? You're a book guy. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. What is he doing? I just pulled them off the shelf to modify them. I have to cross some, out some sections. No sections. Uh, how come? Because otherwise I'll take a copy of him. Who? Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author's just gonna write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. Nobody's gonna remember the books that came out before his. Uh, oh. Uh. I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people could not sell his stuff. That guy's got major talent. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. And mouses. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Heh, <laughs> there I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Okay. Books are neatly placed on this neatly placed on this shelf. Okay. Um uh, yeah. they are all just neatly placed. Come on. Binocular dude. We have some kids reading. A cup. Yeah, let's just go around talking to everybody. Binocular dude. The author is so cool. I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine. Oh, so that's the same dude. That how, that's how he gathers material for his books. Wow. So. He's either a copycat douchebag who just takes credit for everything or he's actually someone who does his own work and it might be that he is. I wonder if it's his strange journal that we found. Hello robots. Yep, still scared of letters. Oh yeah, that's right. Forgot about that. Hello person. Hi. Reshoring in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Mm -hmm. Pile of books. Yes, I can see those are piles of books. I wonder if I can pick one book up. Uh, you there with the journal in your hand. What? what? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in the library. There's books in the library. Wow, he's a douche. Um. Go bug the chatty one upstairs. Okay. Okay. Friendly people? Not so much. Pile of books on the ground. Pile of books on the ground. The author's books covers a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects you just not write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? Renaissance? Renaissance man? How do they know about the Renaissance? I guess so. But it's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah, uh, that is super sad. Just like everything else. Oh, hello. Do there any directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs and uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm re not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No. Oh, that's good. Uh, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian I'm publishing, so you'd think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah, he seems kind of reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. It's uh, still a bit weird. Computer is turning it off. And yeah, the children's sections, I wonder where that might be. Book club! Oh, I th 
for some reason I thought that kid up there was with the TV for a head was actually a kid. Uh, a what the beanbag chair with a book. It's, weird. it's still weird that he has a TV for his head. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, he also doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! It is neat. Man, she seems pretty intrigued about this book. The author published this book at highly accelerated almost in a human pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he hasn't written. He has written, but not yet published. One cannot help to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculation that the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Home dimension? How did she know? Well, I guess she knows I'm the messiah since I, uh, Nico is the messiah since she walks around with the light bulb, but nah, I just saw it in a movie once about superheroes and stuff. Okay. Hello, Cuphead. So, what do you think about the author? Oh, that's a, that's a deep voice for a kid. But well, we'll go with it. Think about the author. I, I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Okay, Cuphead boy. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says Comprehensive, Comprehensive Guide to Phosphorus. Oh. As a general rule, if a if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Chapter 5. A survey of phosphors found in the natural world. Oh. Whoops. Okay. We probably should read this. Blue phosphor. It looks weird. Like, it's not really in the same style as the rest of the world. I have already a theory that the author is actually the programmer of this game. Well, let's see about that. Out of the common phosphate, blue phosphate is of moderate levels of energy. It can exist in both organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is most commonly found in the metallic sand of the barons. The organic form is most commonly found in the phosphorus shrimp and their secretions. Although the light emission of blue phosphorus is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving properties. That is to say, the glow may not be constant. Most form of blue phosphor will only will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If using blue phosphor to power machines, a motor should be set at a baseline level for activity to ensure constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, live phosphor shrimp can be used, as they did in the Baron. Green phosphor, location the glen. Out of the three common phosphors, green phosphor is, the, is of the highest energy. It is also the rarest of the common phosphors as it can only be found in organic form. Known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies and various mosses. Although this phosphor is present in the ubiquitous ground covering moss in the glen, it is only in minute amounts uh, and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use, however, due to its relatively scarce, relative scarcity, and past over harvesting, there is currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least locals of the Glen still have enough to get by. Red Phosphor, a refuge, refugee, refuge. Out of the common phosphors, red phosphor is of the lowest energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. The dilute, dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's water channels can be concentrated and induced with currents. This can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. One major caveat is that the phosphor in this super saturated solution will uh, precip precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor re recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using super saturated red phosphor is as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities of services that can replace it frequently. Well, it gave us some idea about the world, uh, that there are actually different kinds of phosphor that they use. It's not the same phosphor that they use. I guess the red phosphor is mined from the barons. Hmm. Interesting. 
Arthur's latest books are really something, yeah? The Hitler Baron just released a bunch last week. Oh! They're big companions, you'll see them if you look around. Kinda different from his earlier works though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels mostly. So these are the new books I guess. Why can't we get up there? Oh we can. A big book with a black claw on the cover. The title says Emergence of New Ecological Niches in the post sun World. Phosphor Shrimp. Also known as seed shrimp in certain ven vernaculars due to the shape of their transparent coat. These aquatic invertebrates are, <laughs> are the most abundant life form in the ocean surrounding the barrens. Dorsal phosphor gland. Hmm. It's really, it's a strange. This, uh, the way that the, the book is um, presented. It looks like it's been made on a typewriter and drawn on, uh, like in our world, in real life, which makes me think even more that the author is actually uh, the programmer of the game or the game designer or whatever. Um, also because no one has ever seen the guy or girl, just the author. Common Firefly, a nocturnal beetle with vibrant glow. Sometimes captured on mass and put in jars to be used as living lamps by the glen's residents. This has inspired the now common practice of using phosphorus shrimps to do the same. Oh, was it? Okay, that was it. Mm hmm. What do we have up here? A coffee machine. And over here. You need something? Please approach from the front. Aw, oh, screw you. Hello, dude. Oh, my third cup. I can feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake. I need to find out how this book ends. Books, here, this book ends. Um, curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. Yes, that is annoying. My computer is going up. Okay. Are there other, other books that lie around? No. There's a part of plan. Never mind then. Man, everything must really be dark actually. Uh, because of how much my light bulb and the light bulb actually light everything up. Hmm. Oh! That's this book I found back in the Baron's area. Is this is a place with books. Would you happen to know what it says? I do not recognize this language. But the symbol on the cover is of importance. Oh? The Hyatt Librarian George can explain it. Would you like me to call her? Please don't. Yes, I would like you to call her. Uh, symbol. Oh, uh, 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 would you like me to call her? Please don't. What? Why would you not, Nico? Excuse me. Oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, the big robot told me to look for the library in the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Why couldn't we call her before? That was super weird. Um, please pick up the phone, George, which is strange female name, I guess. <laughs> Nico's getting angry. She's not picking up. She's is she not there? Here? She's here. She's in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls for several days. Yikes! Can you get go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible accessible through the stairwell behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Okay. Mm. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. But you just said that she didn't pick up. Ah, robots. Am I right? So. 
now we have to make a library card probably with the camera. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> She's not picking up? I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is a case by programming. But even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Ugh. Again with the taming. So. No, I know you can't combine them. But... Hmm. So, we probably have to make ourselves a library card. And to do that, we need a picture, I guess. Hmm. And we need to write something on the picture. No. It's an ink bottle complete with quill. Bring that memory, doesn't memory doesn't it exist there? Yep, that's how we got into the city. So I'm guessing you don't give out library cards. I only handle book transactions for people who already possess cards. Ah. For a query card, you need to contact head librarian. Don't <laughs> allow me to call it. Don't. Yeah, please do not. Odd, odd. Hmm. Hey. He just glared at me. I don't think we should bother him to stay right now. So, we need to find a library card. Hmm. <laughs> a few moments later. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, you're back. Can I help with anything else? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You have to ask the libra a library for that. I try. I need to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see you without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? <laughs> that sounds like George, alright. I'm sorry you called on a bad day. Oh. Wait, I know. I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks. There. You all said I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo of the card won't match you, unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find someone to take a photo. Don't know why yourself. Cliche, but true. So now we have Kip, Kip, Kip Silver Point. Oh, it was Silver Point. Can't combine those. So now we have to take a photo, but how do we take a photograph? It's a bookshelf. How do we take a photograph? I don't know. She's still asleep. Why don't we just show her Kip's library card? Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match failed. It seems you do not resemble the owner of this card. You can't use this card. Ah, oh, bummer. How do we take a photo? Two thousand years later. Could you please just show me? Oh, I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is the photo sender is right behind me. The bad news is that it doesn't work, right? <laughs> You're catching on quick. After operations in the Baron, this place got shut down. All of the engineers lost their job and became street vendors. Maybe it's, it's there I can figure it out from them. That's good. It will certainly help out people with expired IDs, like me. Oh my goodness. Is there anything you remember how about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging the lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Okay. Can you tell me how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. It's just apparently have this exact same voice. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both of the curved lenses. But didn't you say that?
That doesn't make any sense. Is there another street vendor? So they just said something that didn't make sense. Just be on a camera. And, oh, oh, camera! Oh, joyous memories went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean the concave lens did. Through thick and thin. How to fix the camera? Uh, hmm, it's been a while. Pretty sure the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Okay, so so we have uh, thin lens is I need to write this down. And okay, now we got it guys. I thought that this girl or dude here it was supposed to deliver pictures to me. Alas it wasn't. So let's see, what did we have? The concave goes between. So it must be here because the bulgy, which is convex, I guess, goes on one of the ends. It must be this one. Uh, the thin lens goes between the two curved ones and the thick lens goes to the left of the curve. Cross your fingers guys! This has to work! Yes! It did work! Woohoo! And now we can get ourselves, get our picture taken. Uh, cheese? Ouch! My eyes! Well, if it isn't our picture, it's a photo of me! Are my eyes always this big? <laughs> yes, because you are a cat-like person. Photo of Nico, which we will stick together with the library card. The card has my face on it now. Library card, well, that ain't that a beaut. Library card from Kate Nico's own photo booth too. Woohoo! Let's get back to the library then. And we're back with the library. And just for the record, I have been recording. Hopefully this video will be around 20 minutes long like the others. But I have been recording for almost an hour right now. 53 minutes, it says. And let's get to the... Engineer, no, the head librarian. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Sure. Maybe I should have changed the name. Yeah, but she does know that. The programming doesn't care about that, apparently. Go to the head librarian. That's a phone. So the phone is outside. It's full. Looks like an old phone. <laughs> of course she doesn't. Um, hi. Hi. You all right? Wait, did she close her eyes on the die? Well, they are called eyes. <laughs> hmm. Can I help you? Yeah. I was wondering if you could tell me what I should do next. I, I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. The tower, my grim obelisk. A solemn reminder of our fate. We're all going to die. All going to die. Dies. Die. Um. So, how do I get in? I don't know. I've been reading and studying all my life, and yet I haven't even found any books about entering the tower. Oh, I know there's a small room you can go in, but everybody knows that. I see. Are you George? I guess you are George. Strange journal. No, I don't want you to combine. I want you to. Sure, sure. Excuse me. I do have this book. I think it's written some sort of 
words I don't recognize. Let me see. Oh. Oh dear. Hmm? Hey, uh, is it alright if I borrow this? It's no mistake, I have to translate it. Oh, no problem. I'll try my best, but probably won't be very fast. That's okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh dear, are you tired? A little. Oh well. I do have a guest room upstairs. Ah, but it's in the attic though. Sorry if it's not very comfortable. Well, I guess we'll go there. Might also be a nice ending to this episode. It's a black clover on the cover of this book. Hey, and the other book has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books too. Are they all about clovers? That's just the author's. The author uses to mark his work. I don't even know his name. Oh, so we wrote all of these books? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a copy of everything I helped him publish so far. It's not a lot, but you can read them if you want. What is this? Boxes are full of loose papers and notes. <sighs> you just had to remind me. What's wrong? The author hasn't showed up lately, nor has he sent me any of his new manuscripts. Oh? I'm his editor and publisher, you know. What if he doesn't want me to help him anymore? He's brilliant, he works so fast. I'm so behind on publishing his books. What if you think I'm, he's, I'm too slow? Even after he stopped sending me things, I still can't keep up. The pile seems to just keep growing. But if he doesn't send stuff, why does he keep growing? A book is poking out from the shelf. Okay, so those are books describing the prophet and whatnot. And we'll do that next time. I think we'll also sleep. No, let's let's end it with a dream. I'm well tired from walking. It's alright for taking a nap. Sure is. Yay, Nico is eating pancakes at home with a mom. Yay, it's the best day ever. Oh, what's that? Was it a mirror? Oh. No, it was a broken light bulb. Oh my god. Hey, it's there. I guess you saw my dream? Yes. It was. Did Nico break the light bulb? So, this world is connected to Nico's world. And because Nico broke it, she has to replace it or something. <laughs> Where does that place me or us? Come on, let's go. Anyways, that is a question we will have to answer next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like it on YouTube and maybe even subscribe to me. And I'll see you in the next video. Over and out.